February 3rd, Rainier Beach in Washington State alum Ray Wells Jr. ran the 60 meter dash in 6.48 seconds. That was the fastest time in the world this year and the 33rd fastest time in track and field history. Now he turns his attention to the 100 meter dash as he chases his Olympic dreams. In 2020, Ray Wells Jr. went viral ah! for clearing 61 inches. This clip was viewed by millions, but a year later, he had to deal with another hurdle. 2021, I was on top of the world. I was viral, I made ESPN about 40 times that year, American Ninja Warrior. I mean, I was on top of the world. In the blink of an eye, the world was on top of me. Wells was hoping to make a run at the Tokyo Olympics, but he tore his Achilles at a college meet. That's an injury that most people don't bounce back from. I didn't know where I was going, but before I could even realize it, I tweeted immediately, day one of my recovery starts now, this is all a part of God's plan. The son of a pastor, Ray says he's never lacked in faith. In fact, he lives his life by three letters, G-L-F, God, loyalty, and family and he would lean on those letters as he battled back from injury. On the way. Wells also started training with three-time NFL Pro Bowler and national track champion, Eric Metcalf. I trust him, I mean, 100%. He's a legend in his own areas of life, but he's such a good coach that I know he'll have a plan ready for me. And they're off. At Rainier Beach, Wells won state championships of the 100 and 200 meter races. At Washington State, he's the school's 60 meter dash record holder. He's never been the biggest or strongest athlete, but Ray has never let size slow him down. So my dad would constantly tell me that he wouldn't let my size affect me. He would always be like, you need to just believe in yourself. The moment you believe in yourself, it'll happen. So I, it's been like that all my life. Like it's just been clicking on different levels. I'd win a state title. My dad would be like, congratulations, now go reach more. Like, I, okay, then I win the Pac-12 title. He's like, congratulations, now go get more. Like he never let me get complacent. So now Ray is trying to get more. The Olympics were once a childhood dream, but now it's a reality for one of the fastest sprinters in the country. I get more caught up in the work because I know the work will lead me there. So instead of just like thinking of like, oh, I want to be in the Olympics, I'm like, what will get me to the Olympics? So by the time I get there and I put my head up, I'm like, oh, that's what got me here. Only the top three finishers from the Olympic trials will compete in Paris in the 100 meter dash. Now, besides training for the trials, Ray is also currently a track coach at the Bush School in Seattle. And Chris Egan's going to be live in Paris for our Olympic coverage. The opening ceremony set for Friday, July 26th.